What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel. I'm a senior biomedical science and pre-med student. And today I'm excited to share with you guys my game-changing test day tips for the MCAT exam. If you found any parts of this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel out. And also share the MCAT knowledge with any other pre-meds who may be studying for the MCAT exam. Now, with that being said, let's jump right into it. A lot of these tips are gonna be common knowledge, but I do wanna put this video out to drive in the importance of not overlooking or underestimating some of these details as they could potentially impact your performance on test day. A general rule of thumb for preparing for test day is to minimize as many unknowns and uncertainties as possible so that you're coming into test day fresh and the only thing you have to worry about is acing that exam. That being said, one thing you wanna make sure is that you know the exact location of your exam. What I did was put in the exact address from my AMC account onto my GPS and drive to the location of the testing center about a week before my test date. By doing this, I was able to gauge the traffic patterns and just the general area to make sure that I was familiar with the area and knew exactly where I was gonna be testing. The last thing you want to do is to take the wrong road or not know exactly how to get to your testing center and potentially show up late or in a panic state that will affect your testing <laughs> mindset. You definitely want to know the exact location and place of your also testing. You also want to be sure that the day before your test, you're logging onto your account and double checking the date, time, and location to make sure it's exactly what you're planned for. Now this point is critical. Do not underestimate the importance of having a test day mentality. Now, having a test day mentality is something that I believe would have helped me score higher on this day if I had had a better test day mentality. Keep in mind that taking the MCAT exam at the testing center is gonna be vastly different in environment than taking it in the comfort of your own home. So make sure that you mentally prepare for these differences. For example, you're gonna be in a computer room surrounded by other people with dividers or separators in between you. Make sure that you're taking time to properly calm yourself down and not going in too nervous or too panicked. I know it's easier said than done and it definitely happened to me. I had the test day jitters and it did affect me on the first day, which also happened to be the chem phys section. Make sure that you're going in calm enough and focused and concentrated so that you can start the first section strong and carry that on to the rest of your exam. And please, please, please try your best to stay focused and concentrated. I can't count the number of times that I got slightly nervous or slowly drifted off and lost concentration. It's very critical that you're at your A game and you're staying as focused and concentrated as possible. Test day is your day to shine and you need to be devoting all effort and energy towards this one day, which is the sum of all of your efforts of studying. Make sure that you're finding ways to keep yourself focused and at your sharpest. Especially for people who are testing in the morning, I had to get up at 5 a.m. since the testing center that I was at was around an hour away and I wanted to be there early. So I practiced the week before my exam, waking up at the exact time and going to sleep at the time that was appropriate for me to get enough sleep. You may also want to start implementing these practices when you're doing your practice exams to more accurately and closely simulate testing conditions. For example, if you're doing a practice exam, go to sleep at the time you know you need to go to sleep for appropriate sleep wake up at the time that you need to wake up for the exam, as well as take the same breaks and eat the same lunch that you're gonna be eating on the day of your exam. And of course, make sure that you're eating well, exercising, and taking the appropriate time to clear your mind before going into the testing center. Make sure, especially if you're testing in the morning, that you're preparing everything that you need to bring with you the night before the exam. You don't want to be rushing to pack everything that you need the morning before you leave for the exam. Make sure you have everything ready to go. And I'm talking about the exact food you're going to be eating. Make sure you have your lunchbox or lunch bag ready to go with food that you know won't bother you or that you've practiced or eaten during your practice exams. Make sure that you have your clothes planned out. Or in my case, what I did was I actually slept in the clothes that I was gonna wear to the yeah. MCAT. So that would reduce time and another barrier to action in the morning. Make sure that you have all your paperwork in place, any important documents, forms of verification or ID. Make sure you have those handy as well as making sure that you have snacks, water, and anything else that you know you need for test day. And one last tip is to take advantage of break times. Make sure that you're using break times appropriately to clear your mind and not dwell on the last section or any questions that you thought you might have messed up or had issues with. Because at this point, you can't go back. Make sure to keep on moving forward, be concentrated, keep yourself in that test taking day mindset, and know that you have the skills to ace this exam. That being said, I send you guys off with more MCAT knowledge, tips, and advice. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the MCAT knowledge with anyone else who's preparing for the exam. Turn on the notification bell for more videos in my MCAT prep playlist, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!